the alphabet. When it's just starting. Oh, it's so young. Yay. And then Greeks invented vowels, which led to the letter I. Sorry, I can't this. Where is this? The letter E. Excuse me for that. The letter A. The letter. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say that that's the letter A. It doesn't look like it. The letter O. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, why am I acting like the O from, them from Alpha Blocks? Yeah. And U. U is a letter, of course. You know, like U. U was a. U control to U and V. Or W, actually, at the time. Which is now home to W. So then the letter F came by and turned to the letter F. Then also the letter X doing the alphabet. So now, but then the letter Z was beat up. Bye. And the letter Z was dropped from the alphabet, which means that another letter had to be put in its place. C. What letter was created out of C? G. So G was created and put in place of where Z used to be. Then came the alphabet. The letter Q and R were created. Q and R. Um, and then ginormous um, Y also was added. Um, and little old Z from all the way back here, where G is now, was placed at the, at the very end of the alphabet. Right there. And then the next letter came high. K. K is not new. I mean, I, I mean, it was new at the time, but now it's not. Shortly after the letter K's creation, everything else started going well. The letter W eventually joined the alphabet in the 1500s and got in space between U and W. Remember, V. Now remember, V was not really a letter. It was just a variant of U. But eventually, in the, in the 1800s, the letter V was created. Well, actually created from U and became the letter pushing every single letter right here. Even W, which had been where V was, where V, where, where V, where V is now. But how? The final letter to join the alphabet is one letter in particular, J. Now J is probably a newer letter, but J has existed for probably two or three decades.